Installation of the Calakee is simple and should take no more than a couple of minutes. On our website, we offer a high quality yet low cost BCG. It comes without a gas key and it's probably the easiest solution in terms of installation, especially if you want to dedicate a BCG to your Calakee. However, it's not necessary to buy our BCG. Any mil spec BCG will work, even if the gas key is staked. To remove the staked gas key, you simply break the stake on each screw and then slowly alternate loosening between each screw. This requires a bit of patience and it's probably the most time consuming aspect of installing the Kali key. Once you're done, the entire gas key along with the screws will come off as a single unit. Put it aside in case you want to use it again in the future. Now, you want to clean the mating surfaces of both the BCG and the Kali Key's gas blocking portion. Right now I'm using rubbing alcohol. But if you've got carbon buildup, you'll want to use a solvent that will remove it. Place the gas blocking portion of the Kali Key onto the BCG where the gas key used to be. Using the supplied screws, alternate between each screw and tighten by hand. We recommend torquing the screws to 45 to 50 inch pounds and using red Loctite for a permanent fit. However, hand tightening is totally acceptable. The most important thing that you want to do when you're installing the Kali key is to make sure that the gas blocking portion is straight and precisely aligned with the BCG. This is easy to do because every BCG typically has a channel that helps guide the gas key. When you're done, simply mate the handle portion of the Kali key to the gas portion of the Kali key by sliding it in from the side. All you need to do now is properly lubricate, stick it back into your rifle, and you're good to go.